Learning any advertising platform can be daunting. Often it means we stick to the one we know and we don't try anything new. But you are missing out if you're looking to work with other businesses, market to professionals and drive more leads because LinkedIn ads is the best place to do this. LinkedIn is actually one of the most simple platforms to use and in this video I will break it down for you step by step. LinkedIn is the number one platform for B2B marketing, but it is also used heavily for B2C marketing. Why? Because LinkedIn users have on average two times the buying power of other platforms. Put simply, people on LinkedIn have money and more of it ready to spend. In this video, you're going to learn how to set up your first ad campaign, four little tricks to make your ad convert. Tip number three is a little secret that not many marketers know. I'm gonna talk about audience expansion and whether or not it's a good option for your ads. We're also gonna talk about your audience size, how narrow is too narrow when setting up your ads. Okay, so the way that you find the LinkedIn ads platform is really simple. You're just gonna go ahead and click on advertise. That's gonna go ahead and open up the LinkedIn advertising dashboard. And in order to get started, the first thing you're gonna do is create a new campaign. So you just click on create and you'll click on campaign or campaign group. I'll dive into what that means in more detail a little later in the video. So now that you are in the dashboard, the first thing we're gonna talk about is how to actually create an advert. So if you click on create, what you're gonna do is click on campaign. And that is the first step. You see, it's gonna open up a campaign group. Now, a campaign group can be a number of different ads. You can run a variety of different ads and test them all within one group. That can be really useful if you have one specific product or service that you're trying to promote. So we'll go ahead and click on next. And then the first thing it's gonna ask you is the objective of your ad. So as you can see, you have brand awareness, you then have, you know, considerations, you want website visits, engagement, you have conversions. Personally, I don't recommend using awareness on LinkedIn. Don't think it's particularly useful. Don't really think awareness is useful for any platforms. Ultimately, what you want is to get people to your website or you want them ideally to become a lead or you want them to actually convert on your website. So for me personally, and what I recommend to you is either a website conversion, someone is actually buying something on your website or taking action on the website or lead generation, you're actually getting a lead and then of course that is valuable to you. So for this example, I'm going to select a website conversion and then it's going to pop up it's going to ask us about location you know target audience those types of things we'll come back to that in a little bit but first what i'm going to talk to you about are the ad formats because ad formats on linkedin are a little bit different to a lot of other platforms they have some really cool ad formats you can't get elsewhere so for example you have all the things you would expect a single ad a carousel ad video ads but what i think is very interesting about LinkedIn is you have these message ads. So this is where your ad is going to actually be delivered directly into your target's inbox. LinkedIn also has an ad format called a spotlight ad. What they do with this is personalize your ad based on the individual's profile data. Okay, so now that we've covered some of the advertising formats you can select, let's rewind a little bit and talk about how you would get started step by step because there are a couple of options I would avoid when you are actually setting up the campaign. I'll cover those in just a moment. One of the very first things you're going to want to do is set up a LinkedIn company page. This is super easy. It can be done by clicking just a few buttons. The other top tip I would give you here is to make sure you get your payment details set up. You don't want to get through this process. You haven't got that set up can't get your ads out there. First up, we have campaign groups, like I mentioned earlier. This is really important to get everything linked to a certain group of ads. You can then manage the budgets, dates, 
and everything for that particular group in one place. So now that you have a group set up, we'll dive in to creating the ads for that group. A quick tip, I would not recommend using the brand awareness options that LinkedIn offer. You want to focus on a website conversion on lead generation as I touched upon earlier. Okay, so now let's come back to setting up your audience. A lot of beginners get caught here because they don't know who their audience really is. So really think very carefully about who you want to target. Audience size is something that can waste your budget if you don't get this right. LinkedIn makes some recommendations here which you should ignore. I will cover this in more detail a little bit later on. But first, who typically buys from you? Who follows you on social media? Figure out who they are. Are. In marketing, we call this the customer avatar. I could do a whole video on this, so comment below if you would like to see that video. But the main lesson is really think about who that person is so you can make sure you're targeting the right people. The other thing is you're most likely going to play around with this to improve your results. But what I would say is don't overthink your audience. Don't let it be a block to getting started. Just iterate as you go and improve upon it. Another great tip is using exclusions. A lot of people focus on who they can target, but don't think about who they should not be targeting. You don't want people seeing your ads who are not relevant at all. Finally, it's great if you already have an email list or data on your customers, use those that can help you with targeting. But today I'm gonna to focus on audience attributes, i.e. a completely new audience because this is made for beginners. So as you can see here in the LinkedIn dashboard, we have audiences and we have audience attributes. So that's what we're gonna focus on here. So you can select company, you can select demographics, education, job experience, you know, interests and traits. These are all pretty self-explanatory. I would just advise that you spend some time in each of these options. So let's take a look at demographics for an example. I won't show you these in too much detail because they are relatively straightforward. But what we can do is select the age um, and then you can select, you know, if your product is for 18 to 24 year olds or 25 to 34 year olds and then you can select accordingly and you can of course go into a lot more detail by choosing other things education job experience you know, interests and traits to make these as specific as possible so as you are selecting attributes you're going to want to keep an eye on your audience size which is this number right here the larger your audience the cheaper it is to run the ads and the more narrow the more expensive but the more likely it is that these people will be relevant be mindful you're not wasting money advertising too broadly to people who aren't relevant and don't care about what you're advertising. LinkedIn has a few recommendations when it comes to audience size. They recommend for sponsored content, a minimum of 300,000 people and sponsored ads and text ads between 60,000 and 400,000 people. But be very cautious of following this advice because LinkedIn are most interested in getting as much money from you as they can. Really, you need a range of different audiences to get the best results. And now we're gonna go a little deeper on audience options. Okay, so once you've been through and you've started getting your audience set up, LinkedIn is going to ask you if you want to enable audience expansion. What does this mean? Well, put simply, LinkedIn will take the audience details you have given it, use an AI robot and a bit of magic to work out if there are other people that you should also also be advertising too. So is it good or is it bad? I would recommend that you test it. Create two ads that are the same and then run one set of the ad with audience expansion and the other one without and see how they perform. 
If you need help with your marketing or your advertising and would like to work with me, then check out the links below and fill out the form to get in touch. So a little earlier in the video, I explained the types of ads, so we won't go over that again. But what's really important to note is you want to uncheck the audience network option. This is where LinkedIn is going to show your ads outside of LinkedIn. I don't recommend this option as the whole reason I'm using LinkedIn is because the buyers are relevant to my product and service and have high purchasing power. This LinkedIn audience network option gets automatically checked when you choose single image ad or the carousel ad. And the same is true for the video ad, but not for some of the other options like text ad, spotlight ad. So just be aware of that. If you're choosing any of these three options, make sure to go ahead and uncheck the audience network option. Okay, so now we're going to talk about budget and scheduling. So you can restrict your budget on LinkedIn, but LinkedIn do state that some days they may spend as much as 50% more. And what LinkedIn is doing here is on days when your ads are really working and getting results, they're going to push these out even more and use a bit more of the spend. They offer the option of impressions or clicks, which is what I recommend. I always recommend you take the clicks option because we want people to take action, not just see our ad and move on, forget about it. You can set how much to pay for a click. They try and encourage you to spend as much as possible, but I recommend you start small and grow from there. And again, this is where you'll see that text, actual amount spent daily may vary. And then if you click on here, they're gonna explain a little bit more. That's why I tend to set an overall budget. So a lifetime budget for the campaigns. And then of course I will let them optimize it, etc. Another tip is I always have a start date and an end date for my campaign. So I'll test them over a seven day period, 10 day period so that I can really see how it's working. I never want to just let an ad run if it's not working. Once I find something that does work, then I will definitely allocate a budget and just let that ad do its thing. And of course, check on it from time to time. Now, when it comes to conversion tracking, I would highly recommend you get this set up. There are some options that are really straightforward, but for the most part, to really get this working, you're going to need a developer or an expert to actually go in and set up conversions so they work well. Personally, I usually find people on Fiverr who can do it for $10, $20, and they'll get it all set up and running properly. On that note, if you'd like to see a full video about conversions and how to set it all up and what I would recommend, then leave comments below and I can look into creating a video on that subject. Okay, so now let's move on to building the actual ad itself. So here I would click on next, of course, click save. It's going to save the campaign. Then it's going to open up where I can actually create the ad. So this is where I add the images, the text, and I can see how it's going to look. So I would go ahead and create new ad. For me, I'm just gonna browse existing content so that I can quickly show you how it will look. So here's one you can see that I've pulled out of my archive. Um, I have, you know, of course, I have a name for these ads. I then have the introductory text. I then have a destination URL where I want people to go and on top of that you can then see some of the alt text this is again just good for seo um, i've got the headline description the call to action that i want the other thing i can do is look at how this is going to appear in the desktop feed and in the mobile feed and really get an idea for what if i think that preview looks good and if i think people are going to want to click on that ad Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about the secret tricks to get your ads to convert. First up, keep your content short. With videos, you have as little as 10 seconds to capture attention, so front load the video with the most interesting elements. Another top tip is to use recognizable leaders in your ads, such as your company's CEO, and just having a person, so a face in your ad, it's gonna boost conversions by as much as 160%. And here is that unknown tip that I mentioned earlier in the video. So unlike Facebook, LinkedIn does not know its users' ages. LinkedIn instead guesses people's ages by their graduation dates and other 
milestones. So when you advertise here, it's important that you place a bigger focus on location and job titles to get a much better result. Finally, you're gonna to wanna to use noteworthy statistics, quotes, and testimonials. Reel them in with something short and punchy, and then get them to convert with an irresistible offer. LinkedIn did a test to see how important statistics are, and they found adding a statistic improved click-through rates by as much as 37% and led to 162% more impressions. Finally, LinkedIn isn't the only advertising platform where I have been getting some amazing results. If you watch this next video to learn how you can master Twitter ads, I cover it in depth and discuss all the pitfalls to avoid and how to get started as a beginner. The other video on screen now is gonna show you how to create amazing LinkedIn ads with artificial intelligence.